Good morning fellow mathematicians. In today's video we are going to learn a new integration technique. We are going to learn how to integrate using an inverse function. What do I mean by that? Well, so what I mean is that we have an integral, let's call it i of x, and that's defined as the integral of an inverse function f to the minus 1 of x times dx. Hmm, how is this useful? Well, we can easily integrate, for example, the ln x as the inverse function of the exponential function. So that's quite useful. We will do this in the end, but at the first we will derive the formula. So how can we do this? All we need to solve this integral is integration by parts and some simple substitution. We should start off with the substitution. So what could we do? Maybe we could get rid of all these x's and we are going to define this x as some arbitrary function f of z. Okay, well, now we can plug all of these x's in. So what we end up with is the integral of the inverse function of the function of z times d f of z. Okay, one thing you might notice, we are using an, an inverse function on a function. So those two cancel out and what we are left with is the uh, argument in the function. So we end up with the integral of z times d f of z. And to solve this guy, we are just using integration by parts now. So we need something to differentiate and we need something to integrate. Okay, what should we differentiate? Well, z goes to zero way faster than d f of z. So we are going to differentiate the z. So this becomes one and then zero. If we are going to integrate d f of z, well, if we integrate a differential, it just becomes a function itself. So that's f of z. And if we integrate f of z, well, let's just say that there exists a primitive of this function. So we end up with, with capital F of z. And now we can plug everything in. We multiply those two and add them together. So what we end up with is z f of z minus capital F of z. Okay, that looks good. But we are in the wrong world now. We are in the set world. So we have to get back to x somehow. But what is our set? <clears throat> Maybe we could use um, the inverse function on both sides to get to our set. So that means we are using the inverse function on x. And if you use the inverse function on the function of set, it just becomes the argument. So that's set. Okay, and now we can plug everything in we've got. So that's equal to, okay, z is the inverse function of x. Okay, and then we have the function of the inverse function of z, uh, of x, I'm sorry, minus the primitive of the inverse function of x plus some arbitrary constant c. Okay. Is there anything else we could do? Well, we are using a function on an inverse function, so those cancel out. So what we are left with is x times the inverse function of x minus the primitive uh, used on the inverse function of x plus c. And then we are done. That's the formula we are going to use in some integrals later. So keep this in mind and we are going to use it now to uh, evaluate the integral of um, ln x. The good thing is we already derived this formula so we can just plug everything in we could do. So keep in mind that this ln x equals to our inverse function in terms of x. So hmm, what are we left with? So our result has to look like this. So that's x times our inverse function. Our inverse function is ln x. So x times ln x minus. Okay, now we have the primitive of the inverse function of the inverse function. The inverse function of ln x equals to e to the x. And the um, integral of e to the x is just e to the x. So that's e to the x composed with our inverse function ln x plus an arbitrary constant c. And now we can plug this in, this ln x, into the e to the x. 
So we end up with x times ln x minus e to the ln x plus c. But e to the ln x is just an x. So we end up with, with x times ln x minus x plus c. And that is indeed the, the correct uh, answer for this integral. So that's quite useful and you should use it too. <laughs> I said useful again. What a terrible word. I'm using it way too often. But still, I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, recommend me, subscribe and leave a comment or whatever you wish. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned something and have a nice day. Goodbye.